Right. So we got a lot of African teams. France as well. <laughs> that would have been a good a good joke if I put if I left France in there. Can you do Cape Verde? Maybe because Cape Verde Islands are doing really well in the um, Africa Cup of Nations. I think that that's actually pretty decent to be fair. A decent group: Burkina Faso, Mozambique, and Togo. We get to play um, Mozambique again. So yeah, um, I think that's good. That group. I think I don't think I need to randomize it because it's all randomized anyway. It's uh, Burkina Faso versus Cape Verde Islands. Let's see what we can do here against them. Now, we're 2014. I am not very good at it, so I do apologise if I play like trash. I mean, I haven't used Cape Verde Islands on this game either, so, you know, it, they are new to me. Great block. Burkina Faso! Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Bantz has scored from the deflection, and that's 1-0 to Burkina Faso. Hey, Jackinho. You really enjoy my content. Thank you, dude. I'm very, um, very pleased that you do. Go on, strike it. Oh, nice. What a goal. And it's, uh, GG? Is that how you say it? GG? GG to you, Burkina Faso. And that's 1-1. One, one. That was a really nice goal. I did not expect that one to go in. Look at this. That was a very, very good strike. I very much doubt that I'd be winning this, this tournament with Cape Verde Islands. I really want to see who would win both. The Asia one and this one. Obviously, Asia is a bit more... Um, well, you know, I think both of them are pretty cut and dry. It'll be one of the bigger teams. But sometimes 2014 likes to mix it up and give us new... Uh, new things do a bit more attacking hopefully that'll help i didn't want to go attacking first thing just in case they hit me on the break a couple of times that's a good ball hey there we go and it's Gianni. nice good goal and that is 2-1 against burkina faso that's not bad at all through ball found a little gap they fell asleep boom Oh, that was close by Vance. We somehow managed to keep him away. And there we go. Finally, we win 2-1. And that was, that was a decent match. Do people in the UK have access to AFCON? Because in, in the US, we don't have it. Um, we do if you have Sky Sports. I watched Angola versus Mauritania um, before I came on stream. And that was a really good match. Mauritania scored some absolute bangers. And get the form up for Crystal Palace FC. <laughs> uh, Cape Verde Island, Crystal Palace. I mean, yeah. All right, let's um, do a match that actually happened in real life. Mozambique versus Cape Verde Islands. Here we go then. Mozambique versus Cape Verde Islands. Another winnable game for Cape Verde. Let's do what we did in real life. And score a 40-yard free kick against him. Looking back on it, it didn't it didn't hit his hand. It hit his shoulder. I will freely admit that as a Liverpool fan that that wasn't handball. But the second goal that Origi scored, you know, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Heldon scores, by the way, to make it 1-0. Mozambique aren't going to be too much of a threat, just like Burkina Faso were. Um, hopefully not, anyway. I can't see him doing an awful lot. Although, you never know. They they could be alright. They're a two-star team on this game. So, they might have some players that might be able to do the work against me. But, we are running through. I want to score a, f a banger. No, because I just got... Okay, that that, that works. Right, and that Jani has scored to make it 2-0. No sound peak. <laughs> oh my god. So bad. What are they doing here? <laughs> that nearly went straight. That was a good save to be fair. I think Tunisia as well haven't been doing that great either. Didn't they get like owned by Namibia? Like 1-0? And all Namibia did was just cross the ball into the box randomly and it went straight in. That was a good goal by the way. Wayne Hennessy played for Yeovil? He did. And do you know who else played for Yeovil as well? Kiefer Moore. Andros Townsend as well. All right. So we have got Togo next. This match doesn't matter. But 
Um, let's have a look at the standings before we go through. So Group A is a little bit tighter. We have Cameroon on top and Morocco. Egypt just behind though. Could be a big finish on that one. Um, Cape Verde Islands top of Group B as we already know. Togo and Burkina Faso fighting it out for second place. Um, Group C, Ivory Coast have gone through. Guinea and Zambia now battling for um, the second place position. In Group D, Mali and Senegal have both gone through. Uh, Group E, Guinea-Bissau and Tanzania. Look, well, Guinea-Bissau qualified into the next round, but Tanzania and Gabon will be fighting for that last place. Um, Group F, Angola, top of that one. Ni oh, that's really close. Angola, Nigeria, Kenya and Congo DR um, all fighting for all those places. Group G could be a big finish there if, um, you know... South Africa lose their last match. Rwanda and Zimbabwe are looking to go into the next round. It'll be crazy. Well, it's already crazy that Ghana haven't done anything right now. They haven't done anything. Like, that's a really poor performance from Ghana. And in Group H, you've got Tunisia and Congo. Algeria having a poor performance in that group as well. Only drawing to Madagascar. This stadium... I hate this stadium because it is, like got the weirdest camera angle in the game but it's fine the match doesn't matter too much who wants to see Luton stay up just for the vibes I do as well Luton Town are awesome like all the big teams that have come up against Luton like Liverpool Chelsea um like Man United and stuff Arsenal like they've Luton have put up really big like I, I fights against them especially against Arsenal what didn't it finish like 4-4 or something or 4-3 Togo are going to give me a bit of a an awkward game I think they're not well they are playing for something they are trying to get second place but yeah they got Adebayor out on the wing here for some reason it's blocked and just Togo have been very very awkward we got morocco next in the round of 16 if um you want to look take a look at the round of 16 we have cameroon versus burkina faso uh ivory coast versus guinea we have senegal versus no sorry ivory coast versus mali and senegal versus guinea literally like messed up my flags there then we have benin versus angola not benin sorry sorry Guinea-Bissau versus Angola. I'm getting my flags mis mixed up. South Africa versus Tunisia. Nigeria versus Tanzania. And Congo versus Zimbabwe. How will Morocco do in this one? Will Cape Verde Islands be able to win this All-Africa World Cup? I hope so. It's quite a tough opponent, Morocco. Not quite as tough as a 2022 Morocco, but still... Go on. Oh, yes. Come on, Heldon. You're in behind. Again, we've caught him napping at the back. And I I shot too late. Um, there, You know the dude who always, like, who supports Ajax, the European lad? He said that Henderson was garbage in 2019. And then now he's raving about him, like, right now. Hey, there we go. What were Morocco doing? And Tony Varela has scored to make it 1-0. So it's still 1-0 up against Morocco. I like this Cape Verde team. I like them. They're good. They're a very good team. Like, I don't know why. They just seem to be really good. I mean, if you're from, you know, if you're getting 36th in the world in 2014, that's not bad. Morocco. Oh, I couldn't control it. Hey, that might be a penalty. It is. Yes. Hoping that Marco Soares scores this one. Will he score? What's the goalkeeper doing? I don't know why he was off centre like that, but we score the penalty and that is 2-0. Cape Verde Islands are into the quarterfinal of this All-African World Cup. Okay, so Nigeria beat Tanzania 2-0. Uh, Congo beat Zimbabwe 2-0. Um, for some reason it's moved around. I don't know why it does that. Um, Angola beat Guinea-Bissau 2-0. We have South Africa beating Tunisia 1-0 as well. Oh, look, we've got Blackburn as well. So Cape Verde Islands trying to be like Blackburn and uh, Crystal Palace. We're in the quarterfinals of this against Senegal. I don't know how this is going to go. I can't really say how good Senegal were in 2014. Tackled. It's going to be a bit difficult. they got Young Mane here. Who's ready for San Marino versus St. Kitts and Nevis? Oh, I cannot wait for that one. When is it? Is it soon or is it like quite a long time away? I think San Marino could potentially do it. I don't know how good St. Kitts and Nevis are. Um, 
you know, compared to San Marino. Probably a little bit better. We've held on here against Senegal quite well. Um, I'm just waiting for them to score, really. Because I know they'll get a BS goal eventually. I, our fan base, for some reason, drummed up this sort of, like, thing that... Um, it was like, Mali versus Salah. Who's going to outscore who? It's just like, no, man. Like, they should be... Oh, yes! Come on! That's gone in! Janny! Yes! Come on! It's 1-0. Boom. Uh, oh, he turns me... Oh, no! I just literally said I don't want to concede and Denver Bar scores. No! Denver Bar... That was a really nice turn because I, I expected him to shoot and he didn't. I expected him to shoot there when he was like, like, like the other way, if you know what I mean. And yeah, no, it was a decent turn and... Uh, Denver Bar equalizes into the middle, blocked by Senegal, and that was a weird clearance. I didn't even know where that was going. Oh my god, just ran into him. I think it's going to be penalties here. We could squeak by on penalties, but um, yeah, Senegal got pretty um, not lucky, but oh my, there's no way. There's no way. Diop in the 120th minute smacks it off my goalkeeper and then it rolls in. I, there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do. Senegal in the 120th minute with Diop of all players. That is outrageous. That is outrageous. That is <laughs> the fact that it bounced off my keeper and went in anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Nana moment, yeah, <laughs> it's oh Nana in, the, in, in the Man United. That is unreal. It should have gone to penalties, and Cape Verde Islands or Crystal Palace Island have been knocked out by Senegal. That was absolutely unbelievable finish to that game. Imagine if Senegal scored that. I mean, that is an Afcon goal if I've ever seen it.